My name's David Finnig. I'm the owner of Harmony Cafe and Harmony Dance Studio uh, here in, in Muncie in downtown. I also own Harmony Cafe and Studio where the two are, are brought together in Portland, Indiana. Uh, so we do have three locations um, all together doing walk-in customers for food just for uh, sandwiches, salads, soups and small plates here in downtown. My Portland location is a catering facility and uh, I also teach any kind of partner dancing, so ballrooms also in swing. We serve all sorts of internationally inspired um, small dishes and not, not a very uh, large, we're not focused on huge meals, we're focused more on, on the flavors of, of interesting combinations. So we have a lot of sandwiches with, with interesting sides, um, we, we pull a lot from Cuban flavors, we pull a lot from Italian flavors, and uh, as well as Moroccan and uh, uh, Far Eastern flavors. So we have like Thai chicken skewers and kofta meatballs that are something a little bit uh, different for the area. I cook everything to taste. Um, that allows us a lot of freedom. That also allows a fair bit of variability. And the thing that most people, I feel like, don't recognize about small businesses is um, since I'm not getting pre-diced tomatoes ordered in bulk from GFS, I'm buying tomatoes that they change sometimes the flavor of the recipe that I'm using because there's less consistency on those smaller batches. Um, and so, so like consistency is one of those things that we're working on developing, but, but we kind of take pride in the fact that you're not necessarily going to get exactly the same thing every time you come in because it's, it's being cooked by, you know, people on site. And so I, I do a lot of handling of the roasting pork itself, the mixing of, of the kofta seasonings and things like that. Um, so I'm working more towards actually writing down how I cook, but that is that has been a, a both a challenge and an advantage in the sense that I'm I'm in the kitchen pretty much every day, and, and almost all the flavors that my customers get uh, pass through my hands. But that does mean it's a little harder to harder to hand it over to somebody else. But a lot of downtown business owners are bringing their clients here uh, for lunch or um, just coming, you know, for themselves when they have when they have time. A lot of office meetings gathering here. Um, but we are seeing more on the weekends, a lot of students coming in and, and a lot of retired people coming to have their coffee and, and uh, meeting with, uh, with their friends. So it's, it's getting to be a really nice mix of both professional class and also just people coming to, to relax and have a good time. We've had a couple times where people have come looking for the cafe and end up knocking on the studio door and vice versa because it's, it, you know, one address is 112, one address is 113. So people get a little confused about which harmony they're going to. Um, but generally speaking now, it, it's pretty well worked out which one people want to go to. A lot of people come try our food and then they find out about the, the studio across the street and they come and check us out uh, for dance classes. But they help each other out, but they're not really that intertwined as businesses, if that makes sense. We opened in August and I chose to, and then I, op I opened the studio actually earlier in April, I chose to move both locations into downtown. And I, was, I had my Portland location, I was thinking of expanding to Muncie anyway, and I was trying to pick where to go in Muncie. And you know, I kind of thought about a lot of different things, but seeing what's happening in downtown, seeing the excitement that's uh, getting, getting you know, developed here and the new, the new brew pubs, the new uh, just activities happening at Cannon Commons, it made me very uh, interested in being a part of downtown community. So I found these two locations and, and managed to open across the street from each other. But downtown really is, is uh, just becoming a much more lively and a much more, um, I don't know, fun-filled place to be. And, and that really was, was uh, inspiring to me and I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to, to bring my own uh, flavor and flair to it and try and, and get that just add something to the mix.